Hi, welcome back to Not So Obvious Watches and my latest installment in the series, Why This Watch? Today, it's why do I have a Gerard Perigo Traveler 7000, a GMT or travel watch from the late 1980s in production through the 1990s. As always, these Why This Watch episodes are not critiques and they are not reviews. I'm not trying to be even-handed. I'm not trying to be fair. I'm just flat out saying, why do I have or not have a particular watch? Um, if you want details like sizes and everything, I am not your Google. You can Google that stuff and find it somewhere else. Again, it is not here. This is solely like it says on the tin, why do I have this watch? Okay, that's enough of an introduction. I'll see you on, on the other side of the intro and we'll get into the meat of this. So let's talk about why I've got a Gerard Perigo Traveler 7000 GMT watch. There's really three reasons that I can't put in any order. All three reasons had to come together for me to make this my watch. The first is, frankly, it's beautiful. It makes me happy just to look at this. Whether it we start with the dial, the deep blue on gold hands is just a winning color combination. When you get in close, you'll see that everything is just done to perfection. Whether that's how the indices have been cut and attached, how the hands are done, um, the printing, everything is just perfect. It's probably not perfect, but it feels good enough for me to be as good as perfect. I just love that dial. And as I move out from the dial, I continue to love it. That slightly greeny gray tinge that runs through that blue bezel is, again, just really pleasing. It makes me happy when I see it. It works perfectly, absolutely perfectly with the uh, yellow, uh, the gold numerals. And moving out from there, we look at the coin edge cut on the edge of that bezel. Again, everything is just exactly as it should be. Moving past the bezel to the rest of the watch, it's much simpler but still beautifully executed. And I do love the way they've done the um, the crown side of the mid case with these elegantly um, shaped and sculpted uh, crown guards. All in all, the watch is just absolutely stunning and simply looking at it makes me happy. The next reason I want I have this watch is that it is a Gerard Perigo. I collect travel watches. Um, they and in my travel watches, I try and get as much diversity of brands and looks and functionality as I can. And Gerard Perigo is a brand which a I don't have. B comes with enormous history and prestige and story all of which I really wanted to have a part of and make part of my collection. And C, in this particular watch, all of that was incredibly affordable. So I was able to get it without having to give all of the stuff that comes with owning a Gerard Perigo without having to give much up. Finally, I bought this watch because it is not a true GMT. As I said, I collect travel watches. Um, so how the GMT function works is something near and dear to my heart. And one of the things that has really frustrated me is the, the debasement of the term true GMT by people who seem to have misunderstood or not, never actually known the history of the GMT watch. You see, the original GMT watches were not as we think of them now. Yes, they had a 24-hour hand, but that 24-hour hand was slaved to the hour hand. It could not be set independently. The only thing that allowed you to see a second time zone was being able to move the bezel. 
if you move the bezel with respect to the the 24-hour hand, you are then able and only then able to track a second time zone. Otherwise, all you saw was your current time in 24-hour lingo. Thus, a true GMT was actually what you get whenever and however you allow the main hand and the 24-hour hand to be set independently. Since people have forgotten the true history of GMT watches, there's been a lot of, frankly, classist snobbish bullshit be created around what constitutes a true GMT. And by having this, an artifact of a time before movements could have the hour and main hand, the main hour hand and the GMT hand set independently of each other, I like to hold in my collection an artifact that gives a lie to the modern interpretation, an artifact that shows this is how GMTs were first and everything that came next was effectively a true GMT. So yeah, why do I have this watch? Firstly, because it's beautiful and it just makes me happy. Secondly, because it's from a brand that I love, that has a fantastic story um, and I did not already have in my collection. Thirdly, because it's an artifact of a time which demonstrates how GMT watches have changed and allows my, my collection to really have within it an artifact that shows how we are supposed to interpret where GMTs have come from and what it means to be a true GMT. Those three reasons are why I have a Gerard Perigo Traveller 7000. So that's it. That's why I've got the Gerard Perigo Traveller 7000 GMT or travel watch. I think I said about a hundred times that I absolutely adore this watch and I'll say it one more time. I love this watch to pieces. From the first moment I knew it existed, I started looking at the different variations and I very quickly came down to wanting this all blue version. I was ecstatic when I found it available on Chrono 24 and I've been in love with it ever since. Love to know what you think of it. Um, Leave your ideas in the comments below. I'll see you later.